So shall we get started? Right. <clears throat> Yes, so again, we make that um, 45 degrees angle to the right. Um, on that line, on the left side of that line is the bowl, on the right side of the bowl is the tea caddy. And they're about, um, well, two fingers, three centimeters apart, uh, measured from the widest part of the bowl and the tea caddy. And then if you have something to put your um, tea swab on as well, that would be great. So yes, have a little uh, plateau or a plate or something behind it. Good. And then the first other thing that we need to do to get ready is get our fuxa out. An interesting thing is that always you put it in having your fingers here on the front of it. So you put it in like that, you take it out like that. And if you then put it um, on your left hand, it's always immediately in the right position to get a hold of these um, top points. And the first point is the one that has on the left side the folded edge. So you want to get a hold of that one with your thumb in. Mm -hmm. You let the wrist come open and you slide it open once to the right. Again, put the back of the right hand corner on the front of the left hand corner. You slide down the left hand side and you let that furthest point drop away. Now you fold it in half away from you and take it from underneath with your left hand and give it to your right hand and you put it on your belt like this. And if I put it in here, you'll be able to see it good. Hmm. Look at that. All right, well, ready? Those up. And then the first thing you do is again take out your fan. And this time you address the guests who you are going to serve with. And now you put the fan to the side. Leaving the fan outside of the tea chamber is indicative that the tea chamber is in use by the owner of the fan being you, so you are in charge of the tea chamber. And people outside of the tea chamber can um, see that. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons you leave it outside and not, um, you also don't need it inside. <coughs> so, now we're ready, we've got our setup. Um, we're first going to start with arranging the utensils and then cleansing them first dry cleansing then wet cleansing So first with your left hand you get a hold of the bowl This is the only time that you do it with your left hand because getting your hand in between the tea bowl and the tea caddy They're too narrowly to each other. So you might knock the tea caddy over or um, It's it's not as practical. So this time you give it you take it with your left hand bring it to in front of you and there you give it to your right hand because you do want to place it down with your right hand. And you leave a bit of space um, in front of you because that is where you want to place the tea caddy later on. Well, now actually. So with your right hand, you go and get the tea caddy. And in a bit of a curve, you bring it to in front of you. In the entry school, we don't like to go in a straight line. We like to make slight curves if we bring something or if we take something we don't want to go straight but making a curve is more elegant so you get the tea caddy from the side and you bring it to in front of you in a curve all right and now <clears throat> placing it down there we slide the fuxa down over our tie and grabbing the lowest points between our forefinger and middle finger, we fold it um, back and get a hold of all four points, um, grabbing the higher points with your thumb, also between your forefinger. And the point that you're going to need is seen from your um, angle, the second point, which is the point that has the 
um, folded edge. So you stick your forefinger in, get a hold of it, and you let the wrist come open. Give that point to your right hand and you slide down to the left. Um, to see if you're right, the Grandmaster signature come out on top. Again, let the farthest point fall away. And now we're going to fold it in the gathered style because we're going to cleanse the tea caddy. So make a ring, gather the hooksa, bring our thumb to about half of the total length, and we use our thumb as an, um, a pivot. Yeah. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Fold it again in half, and this time right hand middle finger in with left hand thumb, left hand thumb out, and left hand thumb in with right hand thumb. Then from in front of you, you get a hold of the whole thing with your right hand. And this is the surface that we are going to use to uh, cleanse the surface of the lid of the tea caddy. So bring the tea caddy up and with that surface that I just mentioned we're going to write katakana ma which is something like a Z on top of the lid. Then we get hold of the fuxa in the last two uh, fingers and use our other three fingers to lift the tea caddy's lid up and open it slightly to the right only half and then um, put it back. This is done to inspect and see if that if there's actually tea in there, which there should, but it's um, you inspect it anyways. You slightly touch the tea caddy at six o'clock with the uh, fuxa, and then you place it after where the tea bowl was. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to turn this over with our to face with our thumb down and give it to our left hand. And we're going to get the first point, which is the point that has the folded side. So with your forefinger in, you let it come open and you fold down to the left. Again, right hand corner on left hand corner, slide down. And this time we're going to do the folded style. Mm -hmm. Again, let it come over our thumb. And this time we're going to fold it in one third, two thirds under. And then the remaining one third, which are these points here, we fold under again, so it becomes sort of an S shape. <clears throat> we want to cleanse the tea scoop, but before we start cleansing the tea scoop, we first bring the bowl closer towards you. And then you get a hold of the tea scoop. Place the tea scoop in the center of the fuxa uh, with a node in the center of the fuxa. Grip it in and pull it through once completely. Then make it face down. Grip it in with the node in the center again. And this time you pull until the bowl of the tea scoop reaches under your left hand thumb. You get a hold of both sides of the tip of the tea scoop and you push and turn it 90 degrees. You reposition your hand to get both sides again and you push, turn 90 degrees once more. The node comes out on top. You get a hold of the node, bring the tea scoop over the fuxa, grip it in with the bowl in the fuxa again so that this time you can reposition your right hand from the node to the tip, letting the tea scoop come out over the fuxa. This time you're going to put it with the node in the center of the tea caddy. Immediately you get the tea whisk out and you place the tea whisk besides the tea caddy. Again, three centimeters um, apart. The tea whisk you always get with your thumb on top, which is where the knot of the tea whisk should be. The tea whisk's knot should be facing up. That's the front. And you get it at the front with your thumb uh, so your thumb is on top. You place it right on the right hand side of the tea caddy, three centimeters apart. And then we are going to fold this fuxa over to the other side to grip these uh, loose hanging points in. Mm -hmm. Keeping hold of it with your right hand. Um, this time we're using a little plateau for the um, chakin 
for the T-swab. Um, and we might as well practice wiping, cleansing that plateau before we put the, the chakin on it. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to write katakana character ma, which is again that Z character, on that plateau to make sure that that is clean. And then we give the fuxa hand in hand to the left hand and with the right hand we get the tea swab out of the tea bowl bringing it out in front going around so we not go over the tea scoop um, over the tea caddy or the tea whisk but we go around the side and place it on the plateau that we've just cleansed all right great we give the uh, fuxa back to our right hand and we're going to put it in our bosom we don't need it anymore. If we are using a ladle, then of course we want to um, use it to handle the ladle and to um, open the lid of the kettle. But in this case, we can just um, put it away and we're going to add some water, hot water, to the tea bowl. Today I'm again using a uh, new acquisition, which is uh, soon to be um, appearing on the store as well. It's an uh, Gohon style bowl from um, a potter I met in, um, who's active in Kyoto and doing mostly Kyo Mise wear, but it's, um, I like his, um, his bowls. Oh, that's pretty. So we're adding hot water to the tea bowl and then we get a hold of the tea whisk. With our right hand again, thumb at where the knot is Steadying the tea bowl from above with our left hand, we insert the tea whisk, writing the Japanese character for shime, which is a motion that goes like this. So you insert the tea whisk at one o'clock, go through the center down to seven o'clock, bring it around the edge of the tea bowl up to nine o'clock, and there um, turning to face with your thumb up, take it through the center and leave it at three o'clock. So it goes like this. And now we get a hold of the tea swab. The chakin. We place it thumb down on our left hand, open it once, and then we take these points and we align them with the fold that is away from us. Then we get it horizontally and using our four fingers, we push the upper wing down and then with our lower fingers, uh, our thumbs, I mean, um, the lower wing up. Reposition the right hand with, to face with the thumb down. And above the slot ball, we're going to wring it out. Mm -hmm. We bring it back. And then again, using our thumbs, lower wing down, upper wing up. And we give the upper wing as is to our uh, left hand, forefinger and thumb. So you actually just take it with your left hand, forefinger and thumb. You place the whole thing on your remaining fingers and the um, point here, one of the two points, the upper point, you fold in so that the lower point is revealed and that lower point you take with your thumb down. And then if we pull, this should come apart quite neatly. Mm -hmm. We inspect it, so we go around one time, second time, and then we bring our right hand up, pull it a little bit into a uh, parallelogram, twist our left wrist in, keep it in place with the right hand middle finger, Push it to turn one round once more. Again, using our thumb as a pivot, we let it come down, creating these two wings and these two points should align. Gripping it from above with your right hand at about one third of the whole length, you fold that part under. And then again, with the whole hand, the remaining part is then folded in half. You get a hold of this as is. The part where your thumb, where your left hand is in, should remain a puffy part because that is um, how it's going to sit on any surface that you're going to that you're going to put it down on. So we put it back where we got it from, and this time we're going to inspect the tea whisk. 
Again, steadying the ball from above with our left hand. You make a fist, upright your thumb, and grab the tea whisk in the opening that is made here. You bring it up once, and you only want it up as high as the height of one tea whisk above the ball that maintains a hole. And then extending your fingers, especially with the forefinger, but all fingers work together. You turn the tea clock, uh, the tea whisk counterclockwise once. So when you started doing this, the knot of the tea whisk was facing up. Extending your fingers and turning the tea whisk makes the knot face down. So this time with the knot facing down, you put it in again, reposition and grip the tea whisk again. Bring it up once more, make the same motion. This time the knot comes facing up again. Place it back once uh, and do this once more. We do this a total of three times. And so by the third time, the whisk is rotated one time and a half and the knot is this time again facing down. Now we take the whisk in the same position as we did before, but now bringing the whisk round the edges in the bowl counterclockwise round to six o'clock we do the same thing, um, rotating the whisk within our hand so that the um, knot comes out under our thumb again by the time we reach six o'clock. Here we pause and we make one circle and a half clockwise. So one and a half going up to 12 o'clock and there as we bring the whisk through the center down to six o'clock you bring it um, to, well, you upright it and bring your thumb up so that in the same way the knot also comes facing up. Here, still steadying the ball with your left hand. When the tines reach the edge of the ball, you give one tap to drop the um, moisture, the drip that might be sticking on the tines, and then both hands release simultaneously. You put the tea whisk back where you got it from and immediately you get a hold of the tea swab. Pressing the tea swab against the side of the bowl with both hands, you bring the bowl up and immediately you slide your left hand under to rest the bowl on your um, fingers. First, rotating the bowl so that the uh, hot water can come up to the rim of the bowl to heat up the bowl completely. You do this one round and then putting your left hand fingers in the foot of the bowl, your left hand thumb on the rim of the bowl, we go and empty the bowl in the slop bowl. Mm -hmm. Then we bring the bowl back to in front of us and as we bring it back immediately we touch the T-swap against the um, the bottom of the bowl here, we, re we remove our thumb, put the bowl with the foot on our fingers again, and then we uh, wipe the rest of the drip. Mm -hmm. Place the tea swab with thumb down in the center of the bowl, open it once towards you, get a hold of the points that are thereby revealed, and fold those out over the rim. Get a hold of only the first, the top point, and fold that away from you and pull, pull completely so that this time the lowest wing rests on the rim of the bowl at 12 o'clock and the lower point of the T-swap uh, reaches in the center of the bowl. You fold the T-swap in once more and when you fold it out again, then also the second wing gets on the rim of the bowl. And this point should somewhat align with the fold that you've created here. So again, this is an S shape as well. The first part that we're going to cleanse is uh, the three o'clock part, which is where the guests drink from. So we want to cleanse that as thoroughly as possible. So we place our thumb on the rim at nine o'clock, steadying the bowl and gripping the bowl over the nap, uh, over the T-swab, we wipe once from 12 to four o'clock. 
There we release our left hand thumb, get a hold of the bowl and turn the bowl counterclockwise back up to 12 o'clock. Again, wipe to 4 o'clock, bring the bowl up to 12 o'clock, wipe to 4 o'clock once more and by now the bowl should have returned with the front facing towards you. So we can take the T-swap off. This time inside the bowl we're going to write the character for um, the hiragana character for no, which is this, make a circle basically. Um, bring the T-swap up in the front a little bit so that you can see the inside of the bowl just to make sure that there's no drip remaining. And we're not gonna look in it like this. <laughs> we just Mm -hmm. And then we set the T with uh, the T swap in the center of the bowl. Set it down so that with our right hand, we have our right hand free to put the bowl down back in front of us. Get a hold of the T swap again. Immediately we take it out, and we lay it on our left hand. This point that is hanging down, so the point that is hanging lowest here, that was in the bowl in the center earlier we fold over to the left and that should bring the hemmed side of this um, T-swab up. You lay it on your left hand forefinger and from above you um, keep it in place with your uh, left hand thumb and with your right hand you get the wing that is here uh, on the downside um, regularly. So it's with your thumb up And this also should have the hem facing up. Here, fold that back. That so looks that's, good. That's yeah. correct there. That's correct there. The hem mm -hmm. there. That's the other wing. Uh, the I see it's um, down. it's down a bit. So yes, then take it with your thumb down. Mm -hmm. And and. Mm -hmm maybe just twist it there so that you can have it and then that should make it right yeah good all right and we fold it back we fold it back and we put it back away now we have cleansed all the utensils and we are ready to make tea all the utensils are clean but before we touch the tea what we have to do is our hands. So with our um, Feng Shui water finger, we are going to cleanse first with our right hand, the palm of our left hand. Then we go over to the back of our left hand. And with our left hand, we go over to the back of the right hand. Immediately we go and get the tea scoop. And as we bring it to us, we grip it in closer so we can get it as closely as possible to the node. Then with our left hand, we go and get the tea caddy. Taking the tea scoop in our last two fingers, you use our three remaining fingers to lift the lid of the tea caddy off and we put it at five o'clock of the bowl. We bring the tea caddy down to the left side of the bowl and we try to uh, make sure that the rim of the tea caddy is aligned with the height of the rim of the bowl. First we take one scoop and when we bring the tea powder into the tea bowl, we also distance the tea caddy a little bit from the body of the tea bowl so that it doesn't clang in. So it's a, it's a motion where you open your um, body slightly. And then you bring it back, uh, bring the tea caddy back as well. And it's a simultaneous motion that goes with both hands at the same time. So you bring the tea caddy back closer to the tea bowl, get another scoop of tea, distance the tea caddy while you bring the tea into the t-ball and the third scoop is basically an uh, adjustment it's two scoops and a half and if you think you need a little bit more you can adjust with the uh, last scoop then you bring the tea caddy closer to you um, when you're sitting in Seiza you would put it on your um, well bring it above your left thigh and with the sharp edge of the tea scoop you cut the tea powder open to the right that is from where we're going to trickle the water in and so under. And once that is done, you give one tap with the tea scoop and the tap is given with 
the uh, sturdiest part of the T-scoop, which is the bend of the um, bowl of the T-scoop. And it goes against where the wall of the bowl transitions into the bottom of the bowl, because that is also the sturdiest part of the T-bowl. So we give one tap there, and then we put the T-scoop on the bowl on the right side, and we get our Fuchs out. We use our Fuxa to um, around the back of the rim of the tea caddy and then in front on the rim of the tea caddy to cleanse where tea powder might have gotten on the rim. Mm -hmm. Then we put the Fuxa back away, take the lid of the tea caddy with our forefinger, uh, middle finger and thumb and from in front of us we put it back on the tea caddy. Then you put the tea caddy back where it was. Get a hold of the tea scoop at the tip. Use our left hand to handle it so we can reposition our right hand um, to take this as a pen. Mm -hmm. Setting the bowl from above uh, with your left hand, we're going to cut uh, open the tea powder a little bit more to the right, just where necessary. And when that is done, we again um, rest the tip of the tea, body, uh, the tea scoop against the tea bowl, um, get a hold of it as a knife, releasing our left hand, we give one, two taps. Mm -hmm. Then again, using our left hand as a help, we reposition our right hand to the tip of the tea scoop so that we have the node free to put it in the center of the tea caddy. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to insert uh, hot water. All right, so we have hot water in the bowl with the tea. We get a hold of the tea whisk, steadying the bowl from above. We are going to use our whole arm to whisk the tea. And then as soon as the foam has been created, we raise the tea whisk slightly so that the tips of the tines only get in contact with the surface of the, um, the tea, the foam and slightly at a slower speed we're going to use the tips of the tines to break up the larger bubbles and to create a more minute foam. Then when we're ready we're going to write <coughs> a Z over the surface and bringing the tea whisk out um, to the center first to collect all the foam there in a nice little heap. We bring the tea whisk up uprighted above the bowl and then releasing both hands at the same time. So the left hand leaves as well. We place Are you going to the left or right the uh, right. Yes. That's it. And so there's your tea. Now, to drink the tea, you take it on your left hand, steady it with your right hand, and first we're going to raise the bowl to the universe or the gods and the Buddhas and everything that has uh, contributed to making this bowl possible but is not present here. It's in a token of gratitude and appreciation for all the labors um, that have gone into making this bowl. Then we want to avoid drinking from the front, so we're going to turn the bowl um, 90 degrees, taking it at 12 o'clock, turning it around to 3. That should bring the part that um, is most thoroughly cleansed by the host um, in front. And then we can have our tea. Enjoy! When done drinking, you use your forefinger 
from five to seven on the inner side of the rim and then your thumb you change there to, um, to your thumb uh, wiping the outside the outer rim of the ball from seven to five taking the ball at six o'clock you turn it back to three so that the front returns and you place it in front of you well done all right I think that's good for uh, good practice and um, good improvement <laughs>